Yo, what's going on guys? It's Chaos here and welcome back to the channel. Alright, so we're a week into May and, you know, for a long time now, information has just been trickling out here and there. It's really been a dry period, but that's to be expected. We figured that this would be a dry period before anything would really happen. But, uh, information is starting to come out, alright? Apparently it's the calm before the storm, alright? Twitter's been going crazy these last couple days. But uh, before we get into it, if you like the video, drop a like. And if you're new, consider subbing to the channel. We're on the road to 600. But uh, let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right. So the first tweet we got here is, of course, from Midori. Sonic Rumble. Midori tweeted this three days ago on the 4th. And, bro, Sonic Twitter went crazy. I'm not going to lie. Sonic Twitter was trying to figure out what the fuck Sonic Rumble was. But it's like, Sonic Rumble sounds like a name that would fit for like a Fall Guys thing. So I pretty much figured that it would be. For the fall guys title but people were thinking it was a fighting game like people were going crazy all right like people were going crazy but midori tweeted this it is a title that will be officially announced soon this is the final title for the unannounced sonic mobile title that is similar to fall guys all right so if you guys didn't know or if you haven't been up to date in the sonic realm of things lately uh sonic toys party was a leaked mobile game it got leaked by the raccoon boy it was basically about the sonic fall guys mobile game that has been rumored for a while but apparently i think midori said it was like alpha footage so apparently that was really old so when this gets released or at least this gets um you know revealed the gameplay could be drastically different from what we have seen in that leaked alpha footage okay it could be very very different which honestly i kind of hope it is because i mean graphically it didn't even look that good for a mobile game like it didn't even look as good as like dream team like it, i feel like it should be at least on par graphically with dream team and it looked very very flat it, like had no detail and textures it was just very very flat textures the freaking they used the freaking toy story logo for the main logo uh the menu had a freaking fan a fan render they used a fan render in their menu so like i said it was alpha footage all that stuff was subject to change or is subject to change and we're finna see all right we're finna see but uh moving on from the sonic rumble tweet midori came out again the same day three days ago i actually didn't see this tweet sonic domain expansion sega released or registered a web domain for sonic rumble on april 18th so this was a while ago actually yeah sonicrumble.com obviously you can't access it right now there are web pages for sonic rumble on the sega website but they cannot be accessed right now preview sonic rumble at sega.com blah, blah 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 sonic rumble sega.com so they apparently got a preview website and i'm assuming the main page what will be the main page and then sonic rumble.com is just a regular url sonic rumble party and other names were assessed in development for un for the unannounced sonic mobile title that is similar to fall guys uh what else we got here information recap developer division four i actually don't know who that is i don't know if that's referring to like a studio or like a sega internally I, I don't know release june july 2024 so literally within the next two months we're finna see this game all right we're literally finna see this game within the next two months ios android this is a kicker release on other platforms is possible this is exactly what i wanted for this game i'm not gonna lie because if this was strictly a mobile game i really really mess with it because like i don't play mobile games that much like at all i'll have like a simple one here and there but I don't play, I barely play mobile games at all, alright, so if this was just limited to, like, you know, st mobile phones, like I said, most likely wouldn't play it, but if this releases on, hopefully, PC, with a little, you know, with a little more detailed graphics compared to the mobile version, like, upscaled or whatnot, I'll actually play this on stream probably quite a bit. Gameplay is similar to Fall Guys and Stumble Guys, which is, I'm assuming, another mobile type Fall Guys clone for mobile phones. Like, I'm, I'm not sure. Customization collaboration with multiple IPs is planned. Persona series is included, which is another thing I talked about in my previous video. Cosmetics in that game can go crazy, and it seems like they plan to do that. Rovio's Beacon was used in the development process of this title, which... I guess it's like an engine or something. Sonic Rumble was play tested in multiple regions along with multiple upcoming Sega Group titles including Crazy Taxi, Jet Set Radio, and Metaphor Refantasio. Don't know what game that is. But moving on from Sonic Rumble domains, uh, we have here a tweet from Fidel. One of these gotta be coming in here. He's talking about a Sonic Central, which it is getting close up to that time of year where a Sonic Central could potentially happen. Don't know if one will happen, but uh, we'll look at the tweet we'll look at the tweet most likely movie 3 trailer slash footage which is facts comes out at the end of this year and 
the uh the knuckle show just ended so you know that came and went so it's about time that movie three starts going into that you know that uh that promotion cycle you know they're really gonna start pushing movie three now sonic x shadow gens footage which also kind of true it releases at the end of this year and we're in may so they're gonna have to show gameplay at some point sonic rumble we knew about in a shadow animated short and the reason he put this here i think he says is because yeah they've been doing animations for like literally everything since 2017 like colors ultimate frontiers superstars like they've been doing animations for everything right so there is a chance that we may see an animation but here's the kicker Midori replies to Fidel's tweet saying this is correct information but I don't have information about the shadow animation all right so no word that there is a shadow animation but still entirely possible that it happens but the thing is Midori just confirmed this if we rule out the shadow animated short that Midori just said uh, they don't have any information on we're getting Sonic Rumble news we're getting shadow Sonic Gen's footage news whatever and we're getting a movie 3 trailer slash footage which I think there was something going around with like Paramount, like one, I don't know, it was like Paramount Mexico or something. Basically, someone spilled the beans that the Sonic Movie 3 trailer is apparently on the way, like it's on the horizon. So apparently that's coming fairly soon. Don't know if that's true or not, but just something I saw that I'll throw in there as well. Uh, very interested in Sonic X Shadow Generations. I really want to see uh, like what Shadow's gameplay is going to look like, apart from the little clips that we've seen in the initial reveal trailer. Uh, hopefully the game will be an unlocked 120 or 144 FPS, like just unlocked frame rate in general. Like, bro, if they were, if they re-release gens and it's stuck at 60 again, that's going to be criminal. Not going to lie. But, uh, you know, actual improvements done to the game. I hope for actual improvements done to the game. Sonic Rumble. I'm actually, like I said, I'm actually very interested in Sonic Rumble. Hopefully it comes to PC at some point since it's Midori literally said that it's possible that it comes to other platforms. So hopefully it actually does come to other platforms. And the, uh, the Sonic Twitter tweeted out this earlier. I'll go ahead and throw this in. Uh, Lights, Camera, Action, Sonic Mania Plus is now available on Netflix games, which I think means that this isn't, or the first way that you can play Sonic Mania on mobile devices officially. All right, because before I'm pretty sure you could do like emulation or download some type of APK that emulates it or whatever, but this is like an official way to play Sonic Mania on mobile devices now. So that's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think about all this news. What do you guys think about a potential Sonic Central happening? Do you think it will be a Sonic Central or if it will be just information coming out from multiple areas like, you know, like a movie trailer, a trailer for Sonic X Shadow Generations or potentially that game being at like Summer Games Fest or something? Because, I mean, we are in May. It's going to be June. So events is coming up. A lot of information is on the horizon. But uh, until next time, peace. Peace.